I'm Jill Scott. Jake Dardashian is looking to rent an apartment. He moved into the financial district with a roommate a few months ago. But now that the market is changing, he wants a place of his own. Because of you know the way the market is right now and the concessions they're giving out, I'm looking to move into my own place, into a one bedroom. I've looked at various buildings down here and unbelievable time, unbelievable deals. And I think that this is a renter's market. It sure is. Nowadays, landlords are offering major incentives to get tenants in the door. We're seeing some building waive security deposits. Other buildings give signing bonuses. Um, other buildings, you know, really give anywhere from two to four months free in some cases. Some cases even five months free um, to try and lock renters in. Daniel Hedea is the leasing director for Platinum Properties. He's also Jake's broker. He says now is the time for renters to get on board because there are deals to be had. First, find out how many vacancies there are in a building. Because the more open apartments, the more open the landlord might be to make a deal. Because the landlords are obviously trying to fill up their vacancies, they're open to a lot more options than they were previously. They're more flexible on lease terms, pet limits, uh, even qualifications. Many buildings are also offering to pay the broker's fee, so it's a good time to take advantage of a broker's service without having to pay commission. Just make sure to tell the broker you want to look at those no-fee buildings. Once you get a good deal, try to lock it in for as long as you can. Before you sign your lease, you should also find out what the penalties are in case you need to break your lease and see if they're willing to work with you. With the unstable job market, you want to make sure you're protected in case you can no longer afford your home. As for Jake, he's still shopping around, evaluating his choices and waiting to see which landlord will offer him a choice deal. In Manhattan, Jill Scott, New York One.